right, do you guys remember the Alice and Roman stew? Well, I'm gonna make it. My fridge is tiny, so I'm making half a batch. First up, mince onion, garlic, and ginger, which are great sources of fiber and anti-inflammatory compounds. Then you saute that in a large pot for a few minutes. Meanwhile, we're draining the chickpeas. Add those to the pot with the turmeric, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper. Cook them until they get sort of blistered, about 10 minutes. Chickpeas are a great source of fiber and protein. Remove some of them to save for topping. It smells amazing at this point. Gently smash most of the chickpeas, then add coconut milk and stock. Mine is homemade chicken bone broth, which is super thick and rich in important amino acids, glycine and glutamine. Salt at every stage, but don't overdo it because it reduces down a lot. Quick shout out to my kale stripping skills here. And kale is rich in folate, vitamin K, calcium, and of course, fiber. Best way to rinse greens is to submerge, agitate, and then drain by lifting, not pouring. Feel free to add extra pepper, which increases the bioavailability of the anti-inflammatory compounds in tumor. Add your kale. I accidentally added twice the amount of kale, but I've never regretted kale. Now we serve it up. Top with reserved chickpeas, yogurt, and lemon juice. It's delicious.